Daniel here. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Eric mic from IK Multimedia. This is a unidirectional condenser airlock track microphone, which means it generates power from the device that you're connected to, like your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad. Uh, inside the box, we get a carrying case, a mic clamp, and then you get the mic itself. And this all goes for sixty dollars. Uh, but then, if you want to buy the apps that I IK Multimedia has made, they're about twenty dollars so they are on the pricey side they do have kind of like demos free versions um, but if you want to get the whole versions there's twenty dollars which is one of the bad sides to it but now taking a closer look at the mic itself it has a rugged metal housing which is much better than your traditional mic that comes in something like guitar here or a rock band it feels much more nice and heavier in the hand which gives you kind of a sturdy feel while you're singing or using it for podcasting or interviewing it has a three level gain switch that allows you to record any good sound source like instrument recording, uh, performance recording, you can do interviews and podcasts um, by switching the switches. Then it has a dual mini jack for real time monitoring so you connect your headphones to the top right there after you connect it to your phone or device and then you can hear yourself while singing and just record yourself. Even though IK Multimedia does have apps uh, especially built for the microphone, you can always use any karaoke app that you find in the app store or you can use uh, an app like Glee which allows you to sing and it's it, probably many of you have used it it's very easy to use for the lower end singers and just very fun and it's only 99 cents and also there's the T-Pain app um, for all of those of you who like T-Pain it kinda like auto tunes your voice so you sound like T-Pain so that's pretty cool and you can always use those apps like that and those also have real time monitoring so you can hear yourself with the your headphones on not all karaoke apps have that but most of them do um, so that's also good if you're not a professional singer you want to download some cheaper apps th those are your gateway to that but if you're into the professional apps the IK multimedia app uh, has many 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 features that are for higher end professionals they have real-time effects dedicated to vocal processing things like uh, choir harmonizer, pitch correction, it has vocal doubler, and much more, many more things. It also has uh, advanced sing-along and recording features, and one where you choose your track from your iTunes st or from your iPod, and then it's going to take off the, the vocals so you can sing along with it. It's not great, but with some of the songs, it does work really, really good. <laughs> All right, so here we're gonna be interviewing somebody for the mic test to see how it sounds. We're gonna have three questions. We're gonna ask each other three questions. We're gonna ask you a total of three questions, and then we'll give you the ups and downs that we have on the mic. Uh, so here we are on the first one, which is uh, for the close-ups. Uh, so what's your name? Lucas. And what is your favorite YouTube video? Uh, I don't have a favorite because they vary out. They vary throughout. You know when I'm interested in new stuff. So now we're going to switch it up to the second setting. And now, what is your favorite, who is your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber right now has to be Azrianok. He's not very popular. He's an underground YouTuber, not so well known. Oh, that's great. Um, so, now I'm switching to the third one. Who is your favorite popular YouTuber. Favorite popular YouTuber. Uh, Shay Carl, just because he's funny. He has that kind of personality that I share. Though I'm not really good with interviews, so don't judge me. Alright, so now for the sake of another question. Who is your favorite male singer? Male singer? <laughs> um, Dave Matthews is my favorite male singer. Wow, and your female singer? I don't have one. I don't have a female singer. All right, thank you for doing this interview with us. Um, now we're going to go inside, and we're going to check the sound inside. This was outside with wind. There was wind and sound of cars. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah, we're going to go inside. So here we are inside, and I'm on the lowest setting. That means I have to re really, really close to the mic uh, for you guys to be able to hear me good, because if I put it away, uh, you guys can't hear me as well. So here we're going to be interviewing Christian, and just the same thing as the first video. Every question, I'll move up once. Uh, uh, so yeah. Do you make any videos on YouTube? Um, in fact, yeah. I have two channels. I Next Vlogs. On Next Vlogs, I 
basically vlog about my life and where I go. I check, I do technology videos. All right, that's great. Now we're going to move on to the second setting right here, the middle one. And do you have a favorite YouTuber or any favorite YouTubers in particular? Um, Tabuscus, Wheezy Waiter, and Ray Wong Johnson. It's pretty cool. Uh, now the third setting here, so it's really loud. You can hear a lot of things. Do you have any favorite videos on YouTube? Um, Haha ha Baby and Revolution of Dance. And do you, any other videos that you've heard of? Mm, like, I mean, I, have you ever heard of, uh, uh, Double Rainbow? Oh, Double Rainbow, yeah, that's really, in the it's remix, good. I like that one too. Yeah, Shomo Yoho. Mm -hmm. I probably said it wrong, but. Doesn't also, matter. yeah, thank you for participating in this interview. Alright, so that was it for this video, guys, and thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.